So after eight complete, Oklahoma continues to lead Cal State Bakersfield, 13 to nothing. Jarrett Viega, it looks like, will be the new pitcher for Bakersfield. That'll be the fifth pitcher for the Roadrunners. Viega, a right-hander, 5'11", 210-pound sophomore from Hemet, California. One of two Hemet products course, on the Roadrunner team Henry this King season. Two, Junior, Felix. Junior Felix is now catching for Bakersfield. That's the third catcher they've had today. Well, the one thing this doubleheader has done, it's allowed Bob Macaluso and his staff uh, looking at a lot of players. Uh, obviously, they're not happy with the outcome. Losing the first game 10-7, and then this one, uh, never really in this one, uh, got away from them 13-0. It was 2-0 in the second inning, and then it was 6-0 by the fourth, and uh, the six run seventh really kind of blew this one open. Roadrunners have only three outs remaining, and uh, by now the Sooners have uh, pretty much uh, replaced many of their players as well. First three games were close in this series, six to four, six to three, and then 10-7. But uh, Roadrunners today in the second game just have not played well. They've had four errors on defense have not hit the ball. They've got, they've been held to a double and a single and a hit by pitch through eight innings, only three base runners. And eventually that has to be given credit to Chris and Andritzos, the starter for Oklahoma in this game, went six very sharp innings, only allowed two hits, a double and a single. And they've just been running relievers out there one inning each since then. Kind of an opportunity to give some people some work they haven't had this year. Cody Thomas now, the designated hitter. He had a two-run double his last time up. He's one for three today. Also was hit by a pitch. Strike one call from Viega, the first pitch of the ninth inning. Off-speed pitch low for a ball, one and one. Unlike softball, uh, there's no mercy rule in baseball, so you're going to play it out. Sometimes they'll shorten games because of travel considerations, but in this case, Oklahoma's not going home till tomorrow, so that's not an issue. Obviously, weather's not a factor. It's a really beautiful day out here. A few clouds, not maybe that help take some of the brightness away. A little bit of a breeze. It's now 79 degrees out here, which is a beautiful day. A little bit of probably as much wind as we've had all day is blowing right now, blowing toward right field. Next pitch is outside for a ball, three and one. 14 hits, 13 runs for the Sooners. Zero runs on two hits for Bakersfield with four errors. Vega with a 3-1 count. Here's the delivery. Swung on a line to left field. Left fielder back and makes the play. Valletta out number one. Catcher, number six, Chandler Wagner. Chandler Wagner now, his first plate appearance. Wagner takes a, actually a half swing and a miss there in the first pitch he sees. Wagoner, this is only his eighth at bat of the year. He's one for seven, scored a run, has a uh, single. Next pitch, breaking ball for a strike. 
No balls and two strikes here as Viega tries to kind of stem the tide here, trying to get the runners out of off the field and uh, into the ninth inning, bottom of the ninth inning. 0-2 delivery for Wagoner, swung on and grounded foul up the third baseline. Thirteen nothing, Oklahoma here. A lot of the fans have stuck around. There's a few people left, but uh, still, yeah, pretty close to amount that's been here most of the day. Next pitch fouled away down the left field line again. Paul Karam's out halfway to uh, near foul territory, near the foul line. Oh and two, Viega trying to get Wagoner. Here's the O2 delivery, curveball. Got a little bit of an here, splits the outfitters, and that softly lands in the left center field for a base hit. Wagner, two for eight now. On the season, gets a single to left to center field. Third baseman, number 11, Thomas Hughes. That, leaves, that brings Thomas Hughes to the plate for his third at Pat. He didn't enter the game until the sixth inning. He struck out and grounded out to first base, his first two appearances. Hughes coming into the game was 0 for 1, so he's also looking for his first hit of the season. First pitch is a strike. Hughes, a freshman out of Norman, Oklahoma, looking for his first collegiate hit. Took over at third base. Next pitch, outside with a breaking ball, 1 and 1. Viega into a stretch now. Nobody holding the runner at first. Nothing happening there. And he was almost hit by that pitch. Takes it inside for a ball, two and one. Junior Felix looks into the dugout for the pitch to call. Viega has it and he's into his delivery. Swung on and fouled away to the right. Evens the count of two balls and two strikes. Roadrunners here hoping to at least get something in the bottom of the ninth, to at least break the shutout. Thus far, the right shoulder has been hard to come by. This next pitch is fouled off by Hughes. Oklahoma this year has one shutout. They shut out Central Arkansas 3 0 back on March 1st. Looking for their second shutout of the season. 2-2 two -two count here on Thomas Hughes. Next pitch is swung on and popped up foul behind us, out of play. Game stays, count stays two and two. Here's a delivery. Oh, hits him. Hits him in the head. That's why you wear a batting helmet. It's a 72 mile an hour changeup, so fortunately it wasn't a real blazing fastball, but uh, nobody likes to see anybody get hit in the head by a pitch, but uh, Hughes looks like he's fine. Two, that leaves, that puts, uh, that advances uh, Wagoner to second base. First and second, one out here, and with Wright, the batter. Reggie Wright. Swung on and fouled over the, bounces one over the dugout along the first base, third base line. Wright, six foot, 193 pounder junior out of Chokata, Oklahoma. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch, outside, one and one. Roadrunners have not been shut out this season to this point. They're in danger of having that happen for the first time today. Reggie Wright standing in here. Here's a delivery. Swung on and grounded into the hole. Malik Jones gets it, gets the force out at third. Sanchez covering. Really the only play he had. 
He was shaded towards second for a double play hope, and the ball was hit a little short bit in the hole between third 22. and short, but not hit sharply, so Jones was able to run the ball down and uh, flip the Sanchez covering third for the force out. That retires Wagoner at third. Hughes rose goals in the second and taking over first is right. Two outs now here in the ninth inning. And uh, Sheldon Noisy is now batting. He's had a great day. Six hits today, three hits in each game. First pitch is fouled away. Oh, and one count. Viega looking in, here's his delivery. Curveball, line drive, base hit left field. They're gonna hold the runner at third here. Again, already had 13 nothing. That loads the bases. The fourth hit of the game, seventh hit of the day for Sheldon Noisy. He's gonna be sad to leave Bakersfield, I think. Mendenhall, they took over at second base a couple innings ago. Now batting for the second time. He popped out to second his first appearance. Here's a pitch, is fastball down, 1-0. and Mendenhall hitting 209 on the season. 1-0 count from Viega. Here's the pitch. Another pitch in the dirt. 2-0. Mindendolf, nine hits and 43 at-bats coming into the game today. He has a home run and a tr double. Eight RBIs. Base is loaded here for him. If he gets a hit here, he can add that to that total. 2-0 count. Viega wants to signs thrown at him again by Junior Felix, the catcher. 2-0 pitch. And here it is, fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Mendenhall, sophomore, from, this is a kid from Southern California from Carlsbad. Two one delivery, swung on and grounded to short. Jones has it, throws to second for the force. Metzgar covering. Glove, Noisy one. out, and that no ends the inning. Go to the bottom of the ninth. So the Sooners leave the bases loaded, but don't pad their lead. But Bakersfield has a long way to go. Sooners three outs away, leading 13 to nothing.